Hello, my name is Sam Felton, founder of Smash the Fat, and welcome to episode 17 of Smash It Out TV, where today I'm going to be asking everybody here at St. Paul's Cathedral uh, what causes heart disease, um, and I'll also be doing I Am Unstoppable uh, Sam here as well, where I shout I Am Unstoppable 10 times out loud here, out loud here at St. Paul's Cathedral. Uh, now, before all of that, we've got 60 seconds silence where I'm given 60 seconds to simply explain a health and fitness concept. And today's question is, what is the best exercise for fat loss? So in three, two, one, here we go. I used to think that doing long, slow, boring cardio exercise was best for fat loss. And if you're doing that at the moment, please do stop. The problem with cardio is that you start to become a calorie chaser. Your body becomes very efficient at doing that particular exercise and it ends up having to go further and longer to burn the same amount of energy. The best exercise for fat loss is exercise that is going to increase the density of your muscle and increase your metabolic rate, not just burn calories in your workout. The most effective and efficient way to do this is with strength training. If strength training sounds scary, be safe in the knowledge that Madeline Monroe used to do it, do it to stay in shape as well, and she didn't look too shabby now, didn't she? Uh, the cheapest and, e and easiest and quickest way to do strength training is with your own body. I recommend doing three strength training workouts a week, doing a circuit of squats, press-ups, lunges, and burpees for a minute each, three times three. Finally, the second best exercise for fat loss is to exercise the decision to eat good food. So thankfully I've got it in there in a minute this time, uh, but overall, the best thing for exercise is to increase your muscle density by doing that strength, all important strength training. Now let's head on over to just over there, where I'm asking people what causes heart disease. All right, so I'm here with Laura, Laura, Jenny, Jenny, and Isabel. And Isabel. And we're asking people today what causes heart disease. Now, what do you think causes heart disease? Um, I think it's people not taking the initiative to do more exercise and eating unhealthy food, which has obviously high salt content. Like, for example, fast foods like McDonald's and stuff okay. like that. Um, I'd say eating too much junk food, unhealthy diet. Okay, yeah. cool. and what particularly in the junk food is it that's just, causing heart disease? Just eating a lot of fried foods, yeah. um, fatty foods, yeah, not enough fruit vegetables. Yeah. yeah? Okay, cool. And then what about you as well? I'd say lack of exercise if you don't get your heart rate up at all and just sit on the sofa. Yeah. So if you're not working your heart exactly. hard enough, then you know it's just going to get weak because yeah. it is a muscle exactly. at the end of the day. So. And then what specific foods do you think are, gonna, are, are causing I heart think disease? Like anything that's fried and high in, in salt or fried like oil. I just think anything that's like bad. That and, and, and how does it how does it cause heart disease? Obviously, blocks up your heart valves and it can cause heart attacks. Um, now going back to, to your knowledge there in terms of just fatty foods and things like that, what if I was to tell you that fat and cholesterol has nothing really to do with heart disease at all, and that it's actually sugar okay, that causes really? heart disease? What would, you, quite, what would you say to I'd that? I'd be quite surprised because I thought fatty yeah. foods clogged up the arteries. Yeah, and I'd be really yeah, yeah, and that's what we've been yeah, told. Um, obviously, when the arteries get around the heart get blocked, yeah. uh, they stop the um, blood from entering the heart chambers, yeah. so obviously that can restrict oxygen to the brain and everywhere else. Absolutely, and do you think cholesterol has anything to do with it at all? Yes, I think so. I think yeah. anything to do with cholesterol. And what exactly is cholesterol? <laughs> I don't really know. Do you know what cholesterol actually is as well? No, it's not good for your heart. You know it's not good for your heart. Okay, cool, cool. And the reason that the cholesterol is there in the first place is to actually repair the damage that sugar is doing to the insides of your arteries. So it's not necessarily actually the cholesterol that's causing the um, all the myocardial infarctions, which is a heart attack, right? It's actually the sugar that's sort of like damaging the insides of the arteries and the cholesterol is there, is there to try and repair it. Yeah. Now, how does that sound to you? Yeah, it sounds pretty much about right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's probably about right. But in, in a lot of recent studies, and one in particular by the uh, published in the New England Journal of Medicine, it's just that actually eating a low carb, high fat diet actually reduced people's um, risk of heart disease over a 20 year period. Now, this study studied 82,000 women, and it showed that actually eating a, um, a high carb um, 
diet with low fat actually doubled your risk of heart disease. Now, what would you think of that? Surprising. Yeah, no, surprising. surprising. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And the next time that you go shopping, might you look at the sugar content rather than the fat content in terms of risk of heart disease? I kind of look at the whole. Yeah, you got to look at the whole lot, thing. Yeah. Fat rate, fat intake is actually no likely um, relation to heart disease at all. Yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> so yeah. again, it's very, very surprising. Let's go surprising. And get a McDonald's. So yeah. <laughs> like you know, like so it's just have like the wheel. I, yeah. I look at that a lot. Certainly, but if it, if it's saying that um, it's got high fat content, it's got a bit of red on it, and it's saying that it's bad, when actually it's the sugar that's actually causing the heart disease, do you think that's mislabeling? Maybe, yeah. Yeah. I think if people were more aware, then maybe it might change people's perception. So the next time that you go shopping, are you, are you likely to look maybe more at the sugar content rather than the fat content in terms of looking after your heart? Maybe now, yeah, because yeah. I've always looked at the fat. Yeah. yeah. Yes, probably, yeah. Perfect. Probably. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Okay, I appreciate you. your time. Okay. Perfect. Well, I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Thank girls. you. Cheers. Thank Thanks you. a lot. All right. So some interesting views there um, from people about what causes heart disease. Now, obviously, most people are saying that saturated fat causes heart disease and that you know cholesterol's got a lot to do with it obviously my explanations maybe shed a little more light which is from the most recent research studies please see the links provided um, so yeah please when you are shopping these days do look at the sugar content more than the fat content in terms of uh, looking after your heart uh, so with all of that out of the way uh, we've got unstoppable Sam uh, we're gonna be doing that right here right now so you're gonna be going in three Two, one, and I am unstoppable! 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 And I am unstoppable! Well, hopefully that's inspired you to become unstoppable this week. And until next week, be well and smash it out.